Hello everyone, it's Farkadi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a stone bridge using the Fark method. Now I'm going to be upfront and honest. This is probably the first design I don't like. And the reason being is that it's not very practical. It uses a lot of rocks and you'll struggle to get log sleds over it. So it's not very practical. I don't usually play in big creative builds. But you might find this useful for that, or if you want to, you could use it in your normal build. I will admit it does look awesome, it's just not for me. I'm just going to show you how to make the short one. Uh, long ones I'm probably going to reserve for another video because they're a little bit more complicated. Now first thing you want to do is find an area you want to build it. I'm just going to do it here near the fertile lands. So what you do is get a custom foundation out and measure it across. You can't go too far with this. I'm going to go five. I'd say there. And make sure it snaps. Little happy snaps. I'll cross a little bit more. And then connect it up. All right. So the next thing you want to do is get your stone rock wall out and the reason you build a custom foundation is you can tell where the middle is and that's what you want to aim for it's like here so run it across it's really really annoying building underwater it's shallow water because it keeps wanting to kick you out and You want to square with this one. Trust me, you do. Okay, that looks right. Now, see which one's the highest one. Well, this one's probably the best one. That's the flattest two. You don't want them on an angle too much. And cancel the rest. And it's just a case of building them up. How high you go is up to you, obviously. I don't recommend you go too high. It will start looking funny. It will be on a really high angle. Though the good thing about the high one is that you can actually get the rock walls to go into the ground. So you want to go a bit higher than that. So you either want to go this height or you'd go one more. We'll just go that height. I reckon that's good. Custom floor. I'm doing this in creative mode, if you're wondering. That little bit went away. And the next part is pretty simple. You, well, it's not, it's simple, but getting them to line up, that's the hard part. So maybe getting it right on the edge. See if we can get it to, a line because the problem with this and this is another reason I don't like it is just so it's so tedious I'm not a big fan of tedious things so it's on a bit of an angle but you want to get the first one as straight as you can everyone after that up so like there go until it snaps It's almost like worth turning my mouse sensitivity down. And then you just keep doing it again and again and again. So I did it from there. Same thing again. Like that. And again. You just keep repeating the same process over and over again. If you mess up, you'll have to cancel one. And if you cancel one of the wrong rock walls, you'll probably have to place the whole thing again. And that's just tedious. Oh, if you don't know, you're clearing all this, the, the middle pillar and that. So just to make sure you're aware of that. And something I've noticed is that I've built this about five times. It gets easier to place every time you try. 
So the first couple of times you'll be like, God, I can't get this straight for her. crap. But as you go on, it gets easier. And... As you can see, there's a little bump there. Honestly, I don't think it is possible to get it all 100% straight. If you're able to, then you're a magician. Maybe putting something against your back and blocking your way. That might help you get a straighter angle on things. Okay, this one is going to be off. See, it's not finishing properly. So I might have to bring it up a bit more. So let's try that. Like that. Yeah, this one's looking all right. Honestly, every time I do this, it gets better. I think it starts looking more straight and more flush. Uh, how wide you go is obviously up to you. If you want to put a stick fence or a wall around it, like a proper bridge, keep in mind that if you want to get log carts over it, that might make it a bit difficult if you go f for a short bridge. Yeah, mouse sensitivity is big. But that's enough. Clear the bark first, the wood part first. Clear as mud. And then you can clear the rest. And that's 400 rocks. See, this is why I don't really like it, to be honest. Uh, that's just me. Don't always like what I do. And that is your bridge. It's ready to go. You just got to build them all. And if you're doing this in a normal game, not hard survival, I feel for you because this will take you a very long time. And there's your bridge. Now, unfortunately, because of the way it is, you're going to get little gaps like this. You don't get stuck in them. I don't think you do. Unless you've got big gaps. The higher you go, the bigger those gaps will be. So if I went higher, they'd be pretty big gaps. And you obviously get this issue here. And really the only way around it is to... Well, there's multiple ways around it. Like what you could do is just go custom foundation here. Like that. Obviously you get it into the ground so it's not sticking out. Probably would be cheaper than the custom stairs. Uh, custom stairs. Uh, what do we got? Our vlogs. It's about the same price. And this one sticking into the... Closer to the ground. Like that. There we go. Now, for a test. I recommend you build the sled first and then go across it to see if it's going to work. Now this is working so far. And up again. See? Very realistic. Worst case scenario, if you've got it high, you just back pedal. It goes up smoothly. See? And we'll do it away again. Smooth. Now, if you're going to do a stick fence around it, uh, keep in mind that when you place stick fences, it may... See how it comes on the inside like that? But you could go place it right on the outside of it. So you give yourself as much room as possible. Like that. See? But auto placement will stick it in a little bit more. See? Get right on the edge. Keep in mind if you go too much on the edge, you might cut yourself off. And we'll go over. You get caught and you jump around. It's like, I hate that. Go up again, the other side. Oh, these bloody logs. It's so frustrating. And 
get rid of these. Is out of my way? That's not even even. God, I just fell through there. Why am I falling through there? And there we go. Fits a small raft underneath it. So that's a good thing about it. You can fit rafts underneath this one. Anyway, if you're unfamiliar with this method, I recommend you watch the FARC video on how to do it properly. It's a very important mechanic you don't want to mess up. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.